pain points for me, a user standpoint, when someone else likes something or reposts something, it pops up everything on your timeline. And a lot of times it's just not content that you signed up for. It's so much valuable content can get missed because your timeline can become so polluted and it's just hard to see people that you really want to see. And that's why I love TweetDeck because I can get the most value out of Twitter. Hey everybody, yes, we are under the sea today because I'm excited. Well, actually it's not because we're just under the sea, but I am excited because I'm talking about TweetDeck today. I've been wanting to talk about it on the channel for a while, the benefits of it, some of the features, why I really like using this app for Twitter. So let's get right into it. TweetDeck is a dashboard that gives you more control over your Twitter feed. When browsing Twitter, I personally use TweetDeck so that I can focus on content that I value and people that I really want to see content from. You can see here on the website, monitor, filter, inform, filter, turn noise into knowledge and find out what matters most. So that's kind of the gist of what it's used for. When browsing the Twitter app, desktop or mobile, it's easy for the timeline to get cluttered with retweets, people's like tweets, and that can sometimes be content you didn't sign up for. It can get pretty noisy. I think social media can be a great learning tool depending on how you use it. And as far as Twitter is concerned, TweetDeck has allowed me to get more value out of my use for Twitter, which is networking with tech people or just anyone I find inspiring or can learn from. To start with TweetDeck, go to tweetdeck.twitter.com and log into your Twitter account. Once you log into TweetDeck, you should come to an empty dashboard with options on the left hand side. On the left, you'll see add column. There are different column types such as home, user, notifications, search, likes, messages, etc. And if you click on one of the icons, it will give you a preview of what will show up. So I've clicked on home and it'll show me my timeline, which is what home shows you. And if you have multiple accounts, you can select the one you wanna add. You can also add each one, one by one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this column. So on the bottom right, click add column. And so now you can see that the column is added in my TweetDeck dashboard. And once the column is added, I can customize it, which is one of my favorite parts about this app. In order to customize a column, at the top of the column, click on the settings icon on the top right. And this will bring up the customization settings. I can choose tweet content. With showing, you can choose what kind of tweets you wanna show on your timeline, like tweets with images, tweets with links, any media at all, etc. And matching, you can choose particular words you wanna see. Like if you only wanna see tweets with JavaScript, you can type that in and click on the magnifying glass and it'll start showing you only tweets with JavaScript on your timeline. You can also do excluding. So if you want to exclude certain words, you can do that. Let's say I don't want to see any tweets about peanut butter on my timeline. I can exclude that and it'll start excluding anything about peanut butter. Now, this is my absolute favorite, retweets. Sometimes retweets are interesting, but more often than not, I want to see the actual tweets from the people I'm following and that's it. So I can exclude retweets and get to see the content that I really want. So I'm going to go ahead and exclude retweets. Then there's tweet authors. If you want to choose to see tweets by all users, specific user, me or verified users, or mention mentioning tweets mentioning a specific user or tweets just mentioning me and then there's preferences so you can enable sound enable desktop notifications you can also choose the media size you can choose to hide media images video have them small medium or large i usually choose small to take up less space in my column and now that all the settings are in place i can now enjoy this new column that i've placed so i'm going to close out of settings and so here's the column i've created with my settings and you can interact just like you would on the Twitter app. You can comment on posts, pop out. You can also retweet and you can also like. And there's also three dots under each tweet that'll show you more options like embedding a tweet, copying the link, share via direct message, all the options you would see on the regular Twitter app. And you can add as many columns as you'd like. Mentions is another one of my favorite columns. So I'm gonna add the mentions column. You can also customize this as well. So click in the settings icon, you can choose the notification types the tweet content, the tweet authors, and the preferences. So now I can see my timeline and mentions in one place. I don't need to navigate to two different places to see this info, which leads me to another favorite thing about TweetDeck. Let's say that I'm getting kind of bored with my timeline 
and usually I don't, I love my timeline. But just for example, let's just say maybe almost everyone you follow is talking about some trending topic you don't care about. Let's just say, hey, you know what? I'm on Twitter to see certain things and you wanna see that certain stuff on Twitter or just find some new people. I'm gonna remove these example columns. So let's say right now, I want to only focus on specific topics on Twitter. I can add a column called search. So I'll click on search. Let's just say I only wanna focus on topics about WordPress, JavaScript, and web development. So I can type in a topic into the search. You can add a search with or without the hashtag. Whatever you type in is the same result you would get from the Twitter app. So I'm gonna add hashtag WordPress. Once you click on the search icon, the column appears, and you can also customize these as well. So anytime I have a search column, a few things that I select are tweets in English and then retweets excluded. This type of column also has location, so you can type in a location. It also has engagement, so at least certain amount of re retweets, likes, or replies. So you can change those settings if you want. And so now that that is set up, I'll also add hashtag JavaScript, and hashtag web development. Now I'm seeing only specific topics as well as brand new people that are also interested in these topics. So no need to avoid Twitter altogether during those moments. You can simply change your focus. Another thing I like about this app, if you have lists that you've created, there is a column for that. On the Twitter app, my lists include career stuff, inspiring stuff, miscellaneous tech stuff, and lists can be your favorite people that tweet about a specific topic or whatever you want them to be. In tweet at the list column and choose what list you want to add. Now I have no need to navigate to the list page. All the ones I want to see are right on my dashboard. So typically I have my dashboard set up like this. This is typically how I'm browsing Twitter and when I'm interested in a certain topic, I'll add the search column when I need to or add whatever column I need when I need it. Additionally, on the sidebar, you can collapse the side to make more space. You can add more accounts. You can adjust the settings. So you have dark mode, columns, and font size. And there are other settings in there if you wanna adjust those. I'm typically browsing in dark mode, wide column, small font. So there's also light mode, medium column, medium font. In the settings, there's also a cool little tool called search tips. It gives you all the ways that you can search for stuff on Twitter and you can actually try them out. They automatically add a new column. So for instance, this kitten filter one will contain images or video of kittens. So it's kitten filter colon media. So if I click try, it'll add that column and that's the new column. I kind of wish there was something like this for LinkedIn as well since LinkedIn is also a great tool for finding valuable content and, and content that I can learn from. With LinkedIn, it was kind of similar pain points for me, a user standpoint, when someone else likes something or reposts something, it pops up everything on your timeline. And a lot of times it's just not content that you signed up for. You get on social media for a specific reason, whether it's for career networking or whether it's for entertainment, but for the most part, people wanna get online to see what they wanna see. But you know, that's like a tangent and I'm gonna get off of that tangent because this video is about TweetDeck and not LinkedIn. Hopefully the community, we can come up with something like this for LinkedIn, that would be awesome because so much valuable content can get missed because your timeline can become so polluted and it's just hard to see people that you really wanna see. And that's why I love TweetDeck because I can get the most value out of Twitter. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to drop a comment, letting me know if you have a strategy for managing your Twitter feed or any other feed, any social medias. Do you have strategies for managing this and blocking out noise? Let me know in the comments and see you in the next video.